guys, it's Lindsay. So today I'm going to be filming my September favorites. I have not filmed a September favorites in a hot minute. So we're just going to jump right into them. So I'm going to show you everything like all over the board that I've been loving this month. Loving that I'm loving this month. The first thing is just going to be a quick skincare item and that is my Loving Tan 2 Hour Express in the dark shade. That is what I use as my self tanner. I just jumped on the bandwagon about a couple of months ago and I can totally see why there is a hype that is surrounded by the self tanner. It's amazing. It's, it's so great whenever you need a color really fast and the color develops so dark deep and it lasts forever. Now don't judge right now because I'm probably on like fourth day of this self tanner and it like it really like gradually fades and I am pale. I am super super pale white. That self tanner seems to be the most natural looking type of self tanner that I have used and I have used a ton. I've used Saint Tropez. I've used Fake Bake. I've used um, the Sun Laboratories. I've used everything and this has been my go-to for the past couple of months for the summer months and it is just mwah, I love you. So let's talk about foundation for a quick minute. I, I have been a huge fan of the Estee Lauder Double Wear and this has been a favorite of mine for months and I'm just going to mention it and show it to you here. I've got a MAC pump on the very top. It is super super dirty. Right now I'm in the 2W2 Rattan, Rattan, Rattan. I don't know how to say that. But currently I am in this shade when I'm using my self tanner. It's got a great yellow undertone which is great which was really hard to find in the Estee Lauder Double Wear line for the longest time. All of their foundations were very pink undertone uh, type shades and this one is just amazing. I work 12 hour long shifts and I find uh, that foundation does not last very long. A lot of times it likes to wear off around the nose and around the chin area and get really oily on my forehead. And so I noticed with this foundation, it just lasts all day. It will forever and always be in my makeup bag. It's one of my holy grails. And I just thought I'd mention it in this favorites, even though it's disgusting looking. I probably should have mentioned this before I talked about the foundation, but the Smashbox Photo Finish, bleh, Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And this is the Pore Minimizing Primer. I bought the little size. It really just blurs out your pores. It works way better than the Benefit uh, Pore Professional if anybody has ever tried that before. I just find that this makes my makeup last so much longer, as well as covering up any type of like, any, any heavy pores around your face. And I've never been a big primer person per se, but but this has been amazing for like around the chin area and right here around my nose is where I get the biggest pores and this just closes them up and makes your makeup look so smooth. I've had compliments on my skin and I'm not wearing any new foundations or anything. It's just more this primer has just made a difference in the texture of my skin and I just want to throw that out there if anybody has never heard of this or is interested in using something that is pore minimizing this is an amazing option actually I think this was like a $15 little sample so if you're not sure if you want to buy the bigger size that's like $30 I think you can try the, this little guy right here and you won't regret it okay so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about this because I just did a full-on for first impressions demo review of this Kat Von D inter, uh, Interstellar. Oh my gosh. This Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca Remix palette. This is the palette that came out for her holiday collection. I know I probably shouldn't be mentioning this because this came out in the middle of September. But I will say that ever since I've gotten this in September, I've been using it every single day. I used the shade, the more warmer orangey shades on my eyes today. I'm using these shades right along here and then these oranges. And then sometimes I'll throw in a pop of color somewhere else in the palette. But, um, and then some days I'll just go straight cool tone and then try to use like my purples. This really light pink shade is so pretty all over the lid and then just throwing like a warm crease color in or using these neutral colors right here. It's such a great value for all, for your money, for all the shades that you get. The only problem I find with this, now that I've kind of played with it for about a week, is that the packaging itself is kind of big and I really, really don't like the sleeve that this is in. I kind of wish that this was like a flip up top and had a mirror in it because it's such a large palette. Like you can have such a huge mirror and take this traveling. See, I would find that some people might have issues traveling with this, but the, um, the actual sleeve itself is pretty sturdy. I don't feel like it's a flimsy cardboard packaging. I just really wish it had like a flip up top so I didn't have to worry about fitting it in the sleeve if I want to pull it out really fast and then I have to you know, fit it back in if I want to use the palette and 
put it away. It's just, it's not fast. And I really like when I'm in a hurry in the morning and I want to use the Mavita Loco Remix palette, I find that it's just, it's not fast. I just want something that I can flip open and close and be done with it. <laughs> Another holiday palette, and I'm not sure if I'm going to just do like a full like makeup haul video that might be one of my next videos that I do because I have a few things coming in and I've actually bought a few things recently and I just want to do like a huge massive haul and I want to include this. This is the new Tarte Holidays collection. This is the uh, Five Shade Blush palette and this is so much better than last year's that came out because the colors are just way more wearable. This is the shades right here. Today I'm wearing a mix of smashing and beaming and that's one thing I really like about the palette this year is that you actually have the colored names on the bottom as to where the years before they had like a covered sleeve that had the names printed on the sleeve itself or on the little plastic cover thing. You know what I'm talking about, right? I'm loving all these shades except for doll face. I actually have doll face and I don't find the shade to be the same like it's definitely different so plus shade itself is really really pretty it's just really really bright and just these peachy coral colors over here I mean the whole palette is just beautiful and I think any makeup lover that or even if you're just trying to start out a blush collection this is a great one to start with and the Amazonian clay blushes they last like what 12 15 hours they just they stay on your skin and don't budge and they blend beautifully they're like they're crazy pigmented and I have no problems with these whatsoever this palette I just think is just a great palette in general and you need to go buy it. this palette right here right here. how can you look at this and resist it like oh, it's so dramatic so yes these are the two holiday palettes that I picked up so far this year I'm thinking about picking up some more but we'll see if I can get my husband convinced Okay, the next three things are lips, lipsticks, lip products. Lip products is what I want to say. We're getting into the fall season. I'm wearing some crazy dark lips today. I never thought in a million years, like a year ago, you couldn't make me wear colors like this. But now I'm just, I'm really venturing out and I'm really trying to experiment with my makeup more and trying to up my skill, up my game. But these are just some great drugstore options for anybody that's looking for a really nice fall lip. And these I've been using for the past month. Um, this is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick. This color is Matte Dare in the color 09, in number 09. And that is what the shade looks like right there. I swatch it on the back of my hand. And it's exactly what it says it is. It's a matte berry shade and this is gorgeous it's got a really nice undertone to it and it's not super super like chunky on your lips it's not super drying i've noticed that the lasting power on this it's amazing you could easily stick a lip liner under this to keep it from from moving or budging if you're worried about like feathering with your lipstick and i'm not finding that this is doing it at all it's super creamy like you'll see it just swatches out so great and i think it's like two three dollars so even if you're not using to wearing dark lips and you kind of want to start getting into the whole all the fall trends that's coming out and you want to try a darker lipstick but you don't want to pay like 20 something dollars for for the look there you go the next option is a, a darker like berry shade but it's not as pigmented or as dark as that shade that I just showed you from wet n wild this is the covergirl lip perfection and I've been using this at ooh, ooh, I've been actually wearing this at work. And the, I, what I really like about this is that this adds moisture to your lips. It's got a, a little bit of a shine to it, but it's not super opaque. So if you want to go for that berry look that is like huge right now for fall, but you don't want to have like a super opaque color, you can see I've been getting it down to a stump because it has just been a huge favorite this past month. Excuse my nails, by the way. I have not done them and they look ratchet. And so this is sort of like a sheer berry color and it's got a lot of moisture to it. It's definitely a berry shade, it's kind of like a stain almost. It's not super opaque like the lipstick is and it's not matte. But I love this as a wash of berry on the lip and it's just, it's a really, really pretty color. If I wasn't wearing this, I would show you what this looked like on my skin because this is just, it's a really flattering shade and I think it makes my blue eyes pop. Like berry shades make my blue eyes pop and I don't know what it is, but I love it, I love it, I love it so much. And the last lipstick, liquid lipstick, this is the NYX Soft Cream Lip Cream. I've been killing this this month. This has been a huge favorite, a go-to, and this shade is Istanbul. Istanbul, am I saying that right? Like, I, I think you'll correct me if I do say it wrong. This is that shade right here, and this is such a pretty, like, 
it's like almost like a corally peachy pink. It's not exactly a nude. It definitely gives some color to your lips, but it's not super pale and it's just the right shade. And I actually love using this color to mix with like deep berries like this. This is a really nice shade if you want to just lighten up a lip color and you can put this right in the middle just to make an ombre lip. And this is just, I find this is a gorgeous shade to do that with and it lasts forever. It doesn't get on your teeth, which I'm checking right now. And so that is what I've been wearing in September. So now that we're getting into the colder months, I've definitely been reaching out in something a little bit different than just Mac Creme de Nude, which has been my favorite forever. Next favorite is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil that I've been using. I've been using the Anastasia Brow Pomade. I'm finding that a little bit more harsh than normal on my eyebrows lately, and so I've been using this pencil. It's got a spoolie at the end. It's not as great as the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil, but the pencil color itself right here, like they say that you can create any shade just by the pressure that you apply with the actual product itself. So it's a universal pencil, it's not just one shade. And so it just depends on how much of the product you layer on your eyebrows as well as how hard you're pushing the pencil onto your eyebrows to create the shape that you want. Um, I find that sometimes I can go really dark with this and then sometimes I, I can get like the perfect shade. But this has just been a really convenient product. I got a little sample size and I love it. I love ya. It's just been a really great eye pencil. I really liked it and it stays all day. It doesn't move. I just really like the color and I've been going for a little bit more of a darker brow and I'm really liking this shade, like the shade that it's giving me. So, yes, yes. So the next thing is the Maybelline Last Sensation, Last Oh my god. Maybelline Lash. Oh my god. Next thing is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Oh my gosh, I can say that five times fast, please. I've got this in the black waterproof version of this mascara, and I have just absolutely been loving this. I'm loving using this shorter side to kind of wing up my eyelashes, and I just find that this formula itself makes my eyelashes stay up flared all day and it also gives me like a false lash effect. I just really like this formula. I was a big fan of the Maybelline The Rocket in the waterproof version but this has been my favorite so far and this is the waterproof as well because I only use waterproof on my eyes. That's the only ways my eyelashes are going to stay up and stay curled and I really really like this mascara and so if you're looking for something drugstore, something cheap, here you go. I tend not to splurge on really expensive uh, mascaras because I just find that things like this like waterproof formulas seem to work better and work out better for me. The only thing is it is a little hard to get off but I don't get any flakes on my cheeks with this and it lasts all day so I really really like it. Last thing and you guys probably already know what this is. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This has been a go-to for me for the past month. I got this maybe like mid-August 1st of September and this has just been an amazing setting spray. It makes your makeup last all day and I just, if you can't tell there's a trend with like the la all day lasting foundation and the, the primer, like these are my go-to, especially if I'm going to have like a long work night or a long day itself or an event or anything like that. I'm going straight to these products and I know that they will not budge and they will last all day. They make all of my makeup stay. And if you're looking for something to help make it like your blush and your bronzer, you're finding that those things are harder to keep on your face because like you'll be touching it or it'll be rubbing off or it just naturally just the formulas itself fades. I find that this will just, it will lock it and it won't move and you'll have like perfect makeup like all day. That is my favorite, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a little rush, but I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for watching my channel and subscribing. It means the world to me, and just, you just don't even know. I hope you guys have a really great day, and I'll see you later. See you later. See you later. <laughs> and that is it. Bye, guys.